All right, folks, today we are making this amazing looking Dutch oven craft beer kale, and this is so delicious. It's time to grill. Let's get this video started with preheating the Kamado Joe and a cast iron pot. We have a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 320 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to add some butter lard into that cast iron pot and then bacon stripes. You will need a lot of bacon stripes and it will bring out the best flavor of your kale, I promise. Then diced onion and diced garlic. Make sure not to dice too small, otherwise they might burn too soon. And of course, as always, you will find a whole list of ingredients inside the video description. Then we are adding a decent amount of kale. This is about 350 grams of fresh kale. And you add it, stir a little bit, add some more, stir. It's not the same effect than with spinach, but of course, heating it up will reduce a little bit of volume from that kale, so we have enough space for the other things inside the Dutch oven. Then add your first amount of craft beer. We are using an India Pale Ale here today, a Crew Republic beer, great stuff. Close the lid and let that cook for 10 to 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take off the lid. Make sure to have enough liquid inside that Dutch oven. Your kale should not burn. Then we are adding waxy potatoes. These are raw potatoes and diced. Add and mix. And then add the second amount of beer. Some more beer. Beer is always a solution. And beef stock. Then you will need the meat part. We are using gammon which is kind of salty pork and German sausages. These are German Metwurst, which is a smoked sausage made from beef and pork. And it's delicious. And this is how we serve kale here in Germany in the classical, traditional way. Close the lid again and let that cook for 20 more minutes. Or brace, whatever. It's not... Really cooking, it's a little bit more like braising inside that cast iron pot. After 20 minutes, take out the sausages and the gammon. The German word for that is Kassler. It's nothing close. I already had that once uh, last year with a recipe. We are discussing a lot about the original name of that. Gammon is the thing that is closest to that kind of German meat speciality. Those Metwurst Bratz sausages are so juicy. Make sure not to waste too much of that fat inside and bring it back to the Dutch oven. Dice the gammon as well. Of course, it's not 100% completely cooked, but it will be after dicing and heating up again. Bring these back into your cast iron pot with the kale and the potatoes. Give it a good mix. Close the lid again. And the next phase and the final phase of cooking is again 10 minutes. Season with a good spoon of hot mustard. And close the lid. Due to the fact that we're using bacon, smoked sausage and that salty pork piece, it might be already salty enough. If you need some more seasoning, add black pepper. That's what I did here. And that's just enough. Let it cool down a little bit and then serve. We're going to plate this up. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about traditional German kale with a twist of craft beer and a delicious meat ensemble of three kinds of meat delicious stuff and of course as always i'm gonna give this a shot right now can't wait to hear your thoughts about that don't forget to like 
leave me a comment and subscribe. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. It would be a real help for the 0815 Barbecue International channel. Delicious stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.